Hi, now we are going to discuss about flat belt drive. Belt drive, what is belt drive? Belt drives are used to transmit power from one shaft to another shaft for required operations. Drives are basically classified into two types that is flexible drive and direct drive. Flexible drives also classified into belt drive, rope drive and chain drive. So what is flexible drive? Flexible drive means there is no direct connection between pulleys. It will connected by belt or rope or chain for power transmission. In direct drive it has two types that is gear drive and cam drive. In this one Gears are directly engaged for power transmissions. That why they called as an, a direct drive. Belts are belts as different types. That is flat belts, V belt, ribbed belts, and toothed or timing belts. What is flat belt? Flat belts are simple system for power transmission. It can be deliver high power to moderate a distance is up to 15 meter it has different types of belt drives in this one we are going to see about two types that is open belt drive and crossed belt drive open belt drive in an open belt drive shafts are arranged in parallel and rotate in the same direction the driver pulls the belt from lower side and delivers it upper side of the pulley so that lower side is always tight side and slag is on the top side so this is called as an open belt drive or arrangements of open belt drive next one is crossed or twisted belt drive crossed or belt sorry twisted belt drive in a cross belt drive the shafts are arranged in parallel and twisted arrangements makes pulleys rotating in opposite direction. The speed is limited to 15 meter per second to avoid excessive wear. Both sides of the belt get contact with pulleys. So this is the function and arrangements of crossed or twisted belt drive. Crossed or twisted belt drive arrangements are not advisable for V belt and timing belt drive. Next velocity ratio of the belt drive. The ratio between the speeds of driver pulley and driven pulley is known as an velocity ratio that is denoted by d by d equal to n2 divided by n1. So that is the formula for velocity ratio of the belt drive. Next, phenomena of grip in belts. It must grip in belts. When the belt passes from the slack side to tight side, a certain portion of the belt expands and it contracts again when the belt from tight side to slack side. Due to this change of length, there is a relative motion between the belt and pulley's surface. This relative motion is termed as an grip. <coughs> Next one, law of belting. While installing belt drive, law of belting should be followed or otherwise belt will slip from the pulley. So what is law of belting? Law of belting states that the center line of the belt and it approaches the pulley must lie in a plane perpendicular to the axis of that pulley or must lie in the plane of the pulley otherwise the belt will run off the pulley that means center line of the belt and the center line of the pulley must coincide that is called as an law of belting next design of flat belt drive Two different design procedures used for designing a flat belt drive that is manufacturing data and using basic equations. So what is manufacturing data? Manufacturing data procedures created by experience. Then basic equations 
created by formulas and calculations. Generally, while designing the flat belt drive, mostly preferred manufacturing data. While designing the flat belt drive, we must need some information that is power to be transmitted, the input and output speeds and center distance depending upon the availability of space. So these are the informations needed before starting the design of flat belt drive. So these are all the procedure for designing flat belt drive that is selection of pulley diameter, calculation of design power in kilowatt, selection of belting, load correction factor, then determination of belt width, determination of pulley width, then calculation of belt, belt length. These are all the steps to calculate for design of flat belt drive. Thank you.